Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today, what I wanted to go through is assembly orders. In NAV, when you need to put together uh, an item, you have basically two ways. One of them is going through a traditional manufacturing uh, production order. Uh, and the other way is actually using um, assembly orders. So assembly orders are a little bit simpler than production. So if you have just a light kitting um, inside the warehouse happening, nothing serious, like your measuring capacity or anything like that, then assembly orders is probably the way to go. Now, yeah, this module used to be called, uh, or yeah, it used to be called kitting in NAV. Now it's called assembly orders. Uh, and it's actually really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new item. And it's so the issue that we have at hand right now is we want to create a gift bag for our Coffee Mug International Company. And in that gift bag, we're going to have uh, a coffee mug and uh, coffee beans and uh, we're gonna wrap it up nicely. So we're gonna put in some labor there. I'm gonna create an item called uh, gift bag. And it's gonna be coffee gift bag. I'm gonna sell them in eaches. Uh, I'm gonna pick the miscellaneous item category. You can obviously pick whatever you want, but it just quickly puts in the posting groups. Uh, the costing method, I'm going to set that as standard because this is a made item and I want to roll up the costs of the ingredients uh, when I'm actually making this. I, it doesn't have to be standard, but in this case I'm going to make that standard. And the replenishment system is going to be uh, assembly. And so it's uh, it will roll up the costs and it, whenever there's a need for the product the system is going to assume that we make it with the assembly orders okay so over here in navigate if i go all the way up and i go into uh, assembly bomb on the right hand side i get into the bill of material for the item this is not the production bill of material this is a different bill of material uh, specifically for assemblies and here I want to put in the standard coffee mug that we have, which is a very innovative name for that. And I'm also going to put in the coffee beans. So right here, uh, one pound. And then I am going to pick resource which is the labor needed to put this together. Linda is going to be putting this together for us. It's going to take her, um, let's see, 15 minutes, so a quarter of an hour to put together each bag. Uh, it's really nicely wrapped. And now I have my um, assembly bill of material. Uh, notice that my cost is zero. But what I can do is actually calculate the standard cost. And now it gets updated with uh, the cost of the ingredients. So that's uh, sort of a nice feature for standard costing the item out. Uh, now I close this out. Now I have an assembly bill of material for this item. Let's see how that works on a sales order, for example. If I go ahead and get into sales orders and create a new one, to the uh, Canon group uh, and they are usually overdue and that's fine uh, I'm gonna put the gift bag on there from the blue location we're gonna make 10 uh, it's gonna tell me I don't have enough which is fine and now I have this field here called quantity to assemble to order and I can go ahead and say, well, I'm going to make them. So I put 10 here. And it gives me a due date issue because it's uh, 
takes time to get this done, but it's just fine. Um, not really concerned about the dates at this time, but uh, the important part is that the system automatically, when I hit the 10 here, created assembly orders. So if I go here into navigate, assembly orders, I can see I have an assembly order. And if I take a look at that, it has already created a special order to put together uh, 10 coffee mugs or 10 gift bags, sorry. And this can of course be issued to the warehouse to process. Um, we can print out tickets, etc., etc. And so right now this is set to assemble to order. And that's sort of an important fact because what that means is when I post this order, when I actually ship the sales order, it will automatically make the product. So we're not really concerned with posting anything inside the warehouse. We want it just all to post as I ship. And so I close out here and uh, here. And I go ahead and say uh, release. And now I'm going to post this and ship it. And notice that it's actually posting the assembly. Now, if I go back into uh, the assembly orders and take a look at this, now I can see that it has consumed the coffee and the cups and the hours for Linda and all of the costs involved. I can also take a look at the particular item here and look at the entries and now I can see that it posted an assembly and then shipped out the product and that's pretty much how it works with the assembly orders thanks for taking the time to watch this video as always we welcome any questions or suggestions um, so leave comments or of course if you can subscribe that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.